season one episode six this one is called a golden crown so guys we left off with seeing of course uh, jamie and ned uh, of course battling it out at the end of of course the end of the episode obviously you know ned and jamie are really good you know fighters and you know you can see how they're battling it out and they're it was hard for either one of them to get each other but unfortunately one of jamie's guards you know basically stopped the fight and you know stabbed uh ned in, you know in his leg to basically stop what he was doing and you already know that of course ned you know left pretty much left the council because he didn't agree with what robert was doing robert seems conflicted you know he didn't he didn't want ned to leave really at all and of course we know that jamie wants basically you know his brother back uh you know Tyrion, uh you know and, you know because he's basically you know lady stark's up you know prisoner uh, at this point and we already know that is uh, of course jamie is the one that pushed him off you know pushed bran off of the the building and you know he basically you know was paralyzed from that point but we uh, i just wonder if brand's gonna remember what you know what happened i just wonder if that thought's gonna come back eventually we're, we're gonna have to see from this point see if it's going to do that or not i think there was another scene in there too where you know king robert and queen cersei you know they were talking they've been married for like 17 years knowing a little bit of history of them we know I, cersei doesn't love robert anymore or maybe at one point she did but I don't think she really loves him like that anymore. And I think Robert deep down knows that. And but we and I think uh Robert, you know, and Robert did admit to her that he's still in love with his other, you know, his uh, his lover that is gone uh uh I think Ned's sister or you know, but I think yeah, Ned's sister. Uh I can't remember her name. I got to get her name again. Uh but you know, he he admitted that to her, you know, saying that this is I'm in love. Basically I'm still in love with the the last woman I was with. First Queen Cersei was wondering if this was did you ever think that you were gonna get past? Did you ever think that this would be anything? He said no. Basically, he said no. Yeah, it was pretty cool to see like the interaction between uh you know King Robert and you know Queen Cersei to kind of get a little bit of more background about them. Anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to of course seeing this next episode. So, anyway, guys, let's just check this out. <laughs> King's hand. You were the king's the hand. Peace and you shall now be held accountable. Oh, 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 well, both of you shut your mouths. Catelyn will release Tyrion, and you'll make your peace with James. He's attacked one of my brothers and abducted the other. I should wear the armor and you the gown. She's such a liar. She'll wear this like a badge of honor. Where is it? Silence, or I'll honor you again. We'll talk when I return from the hunt. The hunt. Killing things clears my head. Put on the badge, and if you ever take it off again, I swear to the mother I'll pin the damn thing on Jamie Lannister. <laughs> I still don't agree with the girl thing. I mean, with killing the girl, but that's what they do. He wants him to stay, though. Man, when are those things gonna hatch? gonna get attacked drop the knife let him go and I'll let you live <laughs> idiot why would you you're done oh drop the blade no don't do it Nice. Oh my god, he's almost rolled off. Mord! 
So that's more. How would you like to be rich? Dwarf man still making noise. Gold, lots of gold. I'm prepared to give you lots of gold. In... Now go. <laughs> He's like, no go. Don't have it here. Now go. Fuck off. Oh my god! Pray to the gods. The old and the new. There is only one god. And his name is Death. And there is only one thing we say to Death. Death? Not today. What the hell is she doing? Ew, ew. What is she doing? Read a whole heart. A heart? Hope that wasn't my horse. She's doing well. The stallion who mounts the world. The stallion. That's, dis that's the most disgusting thing I've seen. He shall unite the people into a single Kalasar. All the people of the world will be his her. Word. Don't let them see you carrying a sword and buy his Dothrak. You know the law. It's not my law. They don't belong to you. I sell one egg, I'll have enough to buy a ship. Two eggs, a ship, and an army. And you have all three. I need a large army. Greatest dynasty this world has ever seen on my shoulders since I was five years old. You're and arrogant. You've never given oh. me what they gave to her in that tent. Never. You're not like pieces. Of course not. Like You're not likable. Unfortunately. Hmm? Who can rule without wealth or fear or love? You wish to confess your crimes. Yes, my lady. I do, my lady. Still see her tits bouncing. When I was <laughs> ten, I stuffed my uncle's boots with goat shit. When confronted with my crime, I blamed a squire. Poor boy was flogged and I escaped justice. Milked my ears <laughs> into a pot of turtle stew. <laughs> flogged the one-eyed snake. These are his crimes. My sausage. I made the Please poor man cry. Into the turtle <laughs> stew, which I do believe my sister ate, at least I hope she did, and a honeycomb into a brothel. Silence! What happened next? Do I have a volunteer? <laughs> I think we can assume that no one is willing to. I'll stand for the dwarf. Hopefully, gets out of that whole situation. Oh, what was I saying? Simpler time? It was. It was. You're too young to remember. Followed by a foot. When any man I've ever met saw him cut the blacksmith in two. Saw him take the head off a horse with a single swing of his sword. You're describing Sir Gregor Clegane. Uh, why should Sir Gregor turn brigand? The man is an anointed knight. I've heard him called Tywin Lannister's mad dog. I'm sure you have as well. Can you think of any? The Lannisters might possibly have for being angry with your wife. Uh, if the Lannisters were to order attacks on villages under the king's protection, it, it would be... That would be almost as brazen as attacking the hand of the king in the streets of the capital. In the name of Robert of the House Baratheon, the first of his name, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I charge you to bring the king's justice to the false knight Gregor Clegane and all those who shared in his crimes. I denounce him and detain him. I strip him of all ranks and titles, of all lands and holdings, and sentence him to death. My lord, this, this is a drastic action. It would be better to wait for King Robert's return. Grand Maester Pysa, informed Tywin Lannister that he has been summoned to court to answer for the crimes of his bannermen. He will arrive within the fortnight or be branded an enemy of the crown and a traitor to the realm. Damn! Oh, 
Oh, he's serious about that. It lies to yank the lion's tail. Tywin Lannister is the richest man in all the Seven Kingdoms. Gold wins wars, not soldiers. And how come Robert is king, and not Tywin Lannister? Right. Oh no, that dude, that is scary, man. Would not want to. He's using his surroundings. He can't stand around because he's killed. Dude, he is good at dodging, man. It's crazy. It's always gonna fall through that. This little man, this little man is going home. I believe you have something of mine. Oh. Lannister always pays his debts. Paid more. Man, that was wild. He's gonna be like the worst king if he becomes king. He'd be terrible. That's what I'm thinking. Like the one your mother wears. You'll be queen someday. It's only fitting you should look the part. Will you forgive me for my rudeness? There's nothing to forgive. Salt Shore in the south. And you will be queen over all of them. Oh my god. She's even like more. You again. I'll never. Be cruel to you again. That's a lie. Do you understand me? Uh, I'm not looking forward to that day when they're married or they're ruling. I want you back in Winterfell for your own safety. Can we take Syria back with us? Who cares about your stupid dancing teacher? I can't go. I'm supposed to marry Prince Joffrey. I love him. And I'm meant to be his queen and have his babies. <sighs> Seven hell. When you're old enough, I'll make you a match with someone who's worthy of you. I want someone brave and gentle and strong. I want him. He'll be the greatest king that ever was, a golden lion, and no, all he give him sons with beautiful blonde hair. Please stop being delusional. No like way. Still, idiot. He's a stag like his father. Yup. He's not. He's nothing like that old drunk king. <laughs> Go on, girls, get your scepter and stop making your things. Like, oh, Joffrey's gonna be like the best king. I'm like, no, he's gonna be terrible. Ah! No! No! You cannot touch me! I am the dragon! I am a dragon! I won my crown! Ah! 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 So many ah! Look away, Khaleesi. No. What's he doing? No! What is he gonna do? No, you can't! Oh no! Annie, please! A crown for a king. Khaleesi. He was no dragon. Fire cannot kill a dragon. Oh. Alright guys, this is a really great episode for Game of Thrones. So I'm guessing, you know, her brother is dead because of the, you know, they spilled the gold or they poured the gold on top of him. Basically, here, here's your crown. And so he just fell down and it looks like he just died there, like literally. So I would guess he's dead. I'm assuming he's dead. And Khaleesi did not seem amazed about it. Like she really did not seem, she said, you know, at the end, like he's no dragon because dragon can't, a uh, dragon cannot get burned. And I noticed with her when she touched the egg, she didn't get burned, but her friend, I mean, but one of her, you know, assistants did, you know, did when she picked up the egg. I would assume that she is the, you know, the true dragon, like literally. So, uh, this is getting interesting with, uh, Khaleesi. I, I really cannot wait to see, you know, of course, more of her, more of her and her development of her, you know, her character. I gotta assume her brother's dead, but he was just arrogant. If he is dead, 
I'm fine with that because he's he's a you know he would be just a terrible king or a terrible leader in my personal opinion at least how I could see it I think most people probably would see it like he I didn't feel bad about it to be honest uh, when he got poured with the gold really at all he really no sympathy at all with that he was trying to steal the eggs out of you know, uh, you know, Khaleesi home and, you know, basically, I can't remember the guy's name, but, you know, he was basically standing in the, in the way of her brother to say, you, you can leave, but you can't take the eggs. Like I said, we did see the skulls in the, you know, in the pre, you know, in the previous episode, I think, like the big, you know, dragon skulls. I, I want to see, you know, I, I'm pretty sure these the eggs will hatch eventually and we're going to see like these dragons grow over time. It's going to be interesting to see a dragon. I want to see a dragon. So this is, I want to see, I actually want to see someone actually, you know, of course, ride a dragon or fly with, you know, fly with the dragon. That would be really cool as well. I think we eventually will see that at some point. I'm excited for this next episode because I got to see what's going to happen from this point. Yeah, Tyrion Lannister got out of this whole situation. He was, if he didn't, if he didn't get past that trial, he would have been thrown off and he would have obviously died. But uh, he paid up Mord uh, some gold to get him out of the cell. And, you know, so you could be, you know, face the trial. And then, of course, he did win. And he was able to get out of that whole situation. And I hope that Lady Stark knows that. And I'm really glad he did because he, he would have, it, it obviously would have been an injustice that he didn't do anything. So, like I said, there's this whole war between, I think, uh, yeah, the Lannisters and the Starks now because of what happened with Jamie versus uh, Ned. That's starting a whole thing up. So, you know, everyone's talking about it throughout the, the, all of the kingdoms and stuff because they heard about it. So it's, this is, I mean, we're going to see how that's going to develop, of course, over time as well. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, reaction to Game of Thrones for this episode. I cannot wait to get to the next one. Uh, please leave a like and comment on the video. Make sure you just go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction. And also consider supporting the channel as well. Anyway, guys, we have more off the day. I'll see you next Game of Thrones.